It really means a lot to have a leader, a female leader in government who's able to take take the lead, initiate, initiate things to help um, our fellow women and also in support of men who want to help as well, like all of the, the kind messages that were received on November 7th. Um, so thank you so much for your time today and for everything that you have done, all of your, all of your participation in, in initiatives to show support as July 29th approaches. Thank you so much. Hello, and thank you for joining me uh, today on our gratitude series, marking uh, July 29th and the significance of that date. Today, I am honored to be interviewing Deidre Newman. And perhaps, Deidre, you could introduce yourself and what your role is. Thank you, Kimberly. I am honored. I'm the counselor uh, for West Whitby and I am so delighted to be here. I also have a law practice and I really look forward to speaking with you about today. Thank you so much for taking the time because I know that you must be extremely busy in, uh, in your line of work. So um, I wanted to talk about a few of the um, uh, initiatives that you were involved in um, after after my attack last summer. And it's interesting that um, I didn't actually meet you until you were um, uh, gifting me a couple of things at, at an initiative that, that you started. So um, I understand that you attended the yoga and meditation vigil uh, hosted by Catherine Dunphy, my, my sister-in-law. Um, can you perhaps start off by sharing what how you learned about that event and if that's where you actually met Catherine? Kimberly, actually our council uh, of the town of Whitby was invited to the event in Coburg and uh, because uh, the theme of, of the walk was close to my heart and your uh, experience uh, touched many in our community, I wanted to attend the Coburg Walk, so I drove to Coburg. Um, the walk actually began earlier, and so my experience was that I did my own walk from the park um, to the police station and back, and in that journey. I met a police officer and also another um, person who had attended the uh, principal walk and uh, received Catherine's name and contact information from them. Wonderful. Okay, so so you heard of Catherine because she initiated the event and then it caused you to think, okay, well, maybe there's there's something that, that we could do as a town. And I know um, Catherine told me, I mean, I see a, saw a picture of you at the Take Back the Walk event hosted by the Durham Regional Police. Um, can you talk about that experience? That experience uh, was so poignant. The people in the community, um, and there were a few because of the restrictions of the pandemic at the time, wanted to join uh, DRPS and I, together with council colleagues, did that walk. And as you will recall, uh, the walk recreated uh, the walk that you had been on uh, at the time of the incident. Um, and so I was, had the privilege to, to walk with Catherine and uh, we uh, spoke about your experience and uh, lived it in the way that we could to share our support with you. Well, I want to first of all say thank you for participating in in that walk, and it's it's interesting that I I heard about it after the fact because I was very very groggy in the hospital. I I wasn't very well aware of my surroundings at the time, so when I heard that this took place, I was I was so touched by what took place. Um, so many things, uh, amazing things. Uh, and, and yeah, you know, Kimberly, what was um, quite special was uh, the DRPS who led the walk and um, they were involved in a fitness exercise and I'm a runner and a marathon runner. And um, so I really enjoyed uh, those exercises. And, uh, and then it became quite solemn. And, and as we, as I mentioned, experienced what you 
may have experienced in terms of the beginning of your walk and run that day. Um, and so it was really a symbolic moment for, for all of us. And um, it gave me an opportunity to um, get to know Catherine a little bit better as well that day. I really actually appreciate you sharing that with me because um, as, I, as I've said many times, like uh, pieces of the story are being put together for me now uh, because a lot of the things that, that were told to me in, in, the, um, in the summer and the fall, um, I don't really remember very well and it, it, it's, it's very disjointed. So when I hear you express this to me now, it's almost like I'm here for the first time all over again, because I didn't know that. I didn't know there was an exercise uh, set up and, and that there was um, sort of a solemn experience, um, which makes sense, but I didn't really make that connection. So thank you for sharing that with me. I appreciate it. So then fast forward to November 7th and Oh my goodness, I have to tell you, I'm, I, was, I was totally in shock that day. But can you talk a little bit about the event at Butterfly Garden on November 7th? What inspired you to initiate that and, and get involved with that event? Um, thank you, Kimberly. Um, you were the inspiration and Catherine and I met at a park in Whitby and uh, Catherine shared her vision of what might be for that event. And initially we hoped that there would be an opportunity for people in the community to gather in person. Um, but because of the challenges with the pandemic, we chose instead to, with the assistance of uh, Lara Scott, arrange for the a, a video to commemorate your experience. And we reached out to uh, our federal and MP Ryan Turnbull, the MP Lord Coe, uh, the mayor of our town, um, Mayor Mitchell, and uh, as well, um, Catherine and yourself and Rob and his uh, group of musicians um, to uh, create uh, an opportunity where there would be remarks to honor you and to um, share with the community the your miraculous uh, perseverance and uh, the opportunity for you to give remarks um, to share with the community your experience. I was so honored to be part of the planning of that event and it was a beautiful day and uh, we were so grateful for the support of the leaders of our community. Well, I, I have to say I'm I'm, I'm so in incredibly grateful to you for being the person, the leader of, of getting that to, to take place and, and organizing all of the uh, municipal leadership uh, in, our, in our community. Um, just, and not only did they show up, but, but their messages of, of um, impact to, were directed at me and, and I didn't expect that, to be honest with you. The way they positioned a chair in, in front of the speakers and it was like Kimberly and all of the messages were, were so meaningful and, and heartfelt and I'm extremely grateful. Uh, I guess Lara arranged for it to be filmed. So I, I absolutely will be sharing um, at the end of the video, what I want to share is is the footage with you uh, and your your words, your very meaningful words, and and you gifted me a beautiful painting and some flowers. I must say, I love I love the flowers you gifted me because the Gerber daisies are one of my favorites. But you you gifted me a beautiful painting called um, the Friendship Spirit. And, and I wonder if you could talk a little bit about that. Like, where did that painting come from? Because me you mentioned it was a Whitby artist. The, the artist um, is a teacher, a visual artist, and a musician. And he is a close a friend of my family. Uh, his name is David Michael Jack. And uh, unfortunately, um, he passed away on June 6th. Oh. And, um, you know, it was his uh, integrity, uh, his spirit, his friendship that um, caused me to reach out to Michael 
and he would often be very kind to the people um, in my community and uh, he really represented gesture of um, generosity he truly was magical in the way that he would bring joy to the people around him including the indigenous community and um, I believe that you know where there is tragedy that the that the resolution of that tragedy is the care and and compassion that friends and family uh, give uh, and so for me his art represented my gesture reaching out to you to offer my friendship to you wow well again this that painting has taken on a whole new meaning to me now i i had no idea i'm very sorry for the loss of this this friend and um i i have that that painting hanging in my office and every day i'm reminded of the generosity of yourself and now i'll be reminded of that person that the heart of that person and it means a great deal to me so thank you and thank you for sharing that story i had no idea thank you i learned later that the town uh, the the i received this this um let's see if i can get in the shot here uh, a folder from the office of the mayor that there was a, a proclamation as November being Women Abuse Prevention Month. And, and I know um, with your role in the town that you would, would have supported this, this initiative. And uh, I wanna say thank you for, for being a part of that because not only is it, is it myself who ex has experienced violence, um, abuse, um, that so many other women in our community endure this and maybe maybe secretly um and and knowing that our our, our government officials um are stepping up and and saying we acknowledge this is a problem let's do something about it um i'm very thankful for that so thank you you're welcome kimberly for many years i've served as a family law lawyer and have um, advocated for women and and people who are vulnerable uh, and uh, and particularly with the recent 16 months, uh, I think there has been suffering and isolation. And I know that it was very important, both professionally and in my role as a counselor, that there would be gestures like uh, the town of be with respect to the proclamation of November to have women understand that there are ways to be protected by having the courage to reach out. And I know also uh, Chair John Henry and Durham Region have proclaimed uh, the for the region the month as well as a month uh, uh, to support women. So, and, and that was in November of last year, and I hope that this will continue in future years. Thank you. So do I. So do I. And and thank you for your your role in that. Um, uh, going forward, I know I know Catherine, my sister in law, is is sort of spearheading a nonprofit, uh, the Kimberly Project, uh, dealing with a lot of um, awareness about gender based violence and trying to put an end to it. <laughs> Whether that's possible or not, it, it's what's important is that we try. And that's what, what this says to me, that we're willing to try. Our, our town is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I love the town of Whitby, I really do. <laughs> um, Thank you. So, so I, I wanted to ask you if, if you have a message for the women of Whitby um, that you'd like to share, whether it's, it's about um, my experience or just in general, do you have a message for the women of Whitby? Um, Kimberly, I have um, observed that uh, you have been so graceful and have persevered during the most difficult of times and have somehow had the strength to share your experience with us. And, and so I would uh, offer to the women of our community um, that this is 
such an important time that, that we work together and with our partners and with men in the society to ensure that women are protected, that women are respected, uh, that women have um, the opportunity to honor their health and well being so that they can thrive and contribute in the most glorious way that they do to nurture our society and and lead with all other human beings our society um, and so and I would say particularly to those who uh, feel vulnerable that there are supports in the community therapeutic supports legal supports uh, and governmental supports to support you if you have the openness to reach out. Thank you, um, Kimberly, for your perseverance, for your inspiration, for your courage, and for your strength. Um, because you um, have faced the most difficult of circumstances and are emerging from that as a leader in this area. Um, thank you for all that you have given uh, to me and to this community. And I look forward to many more years of working with you on these issues. Wow, thank you so much. And, and I appreciate the, the personal message in there too and, and the message to the women of Whitby. And, and I stand behind you uh, in support of the women of, of Whitby and our community in, in, in general. Mm -hmm. And it really means a lot to have a leader, a female leader in government who's able to take take the lead, initiate initiate things to help um, our fellow women and also in support of men who want to help as well, like all of the, the kind messages that were received on November 7th. Um, so thank you so much for your time today and for everything that you have done, all of your, all of your participation in, in initiatives to show support as July 29th approaches. Thank you so much, Deidre. Kimberly, my pleasure, my honor to be with you today. I'm going to close this video with footage of uh, Deidre sharing her, her message of impact for women and gifting me the Friendship Spirit painting. And on that note, thank you again and be positive. Dear Kimberly, on July 28th at 8 p.m., as you walked in Whitby, when darkness struck, we were struck. Your vulnerability was our vulnerability. Your rescue was our rescue. Your survival is our survival. If we as a society are to eradicate violence against women, we must understand the futility of all violence, assume responsibility for its cause, Lift the veil for women who feel fear in their own home. Confront the emotional and physical harm that women encounter in the community and support laws to ensure the safety, security and justice for all women. As an author once said, when you terrorize women, you alter the essential life force on our planet the open, trusting, nurturing, creative life energy on Earth. Nelson Mandela said, freedom cannot be achieved unless all women are liberated. Thank you for the honor to be here in this garden for this celebration with you, Kimberly, your family and friends. More than a reflection of the past, this is a celebration of the present and your future. Today we pay tribute to your dreams, to your life, which is sacred, the dazzling brightness of your life, transforming darkness into light, lifting us up and guiding us with joy. And to you, your devotion in uniting us towards peace with each other through your words of hope and acts of courage. I am delighted to present art 
from a local Whitby artist and flowers, which are with our love, gratitude, and prayers. Thank you. I love Gerber daisies. I do. I love Thanks. them very much. Thank you very much. For I really, really appreciate this. You're so great.